Hey guys, what's up? Uh, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'm reviewing the Think uh, I thought this is my third, but actually this is my fifth board Think of fragrance review. I did before uh, two in one video, that is a few months back. And then I did yesterday two reviews. So about four fragrances already covered. I'll leave the link below, you can check. So the next review, big thanks once again, Fragrance BD, who offered me all these samples. I have about three to go. So here's the first one of the three. So I'll review two today. And then tomorrow perhaps I'll do Sayat Nova. So the fragrance today I'm reviewing is Triad by Bortnikov. And this has uh, this dark colored juice sort of. The bottle is very different and very pretty. These fragrances, I think 50 ml, I think around 250 to 350 dollars in Bangladesh, give or take. And the fragrances are sort of expensive for what they are. But uh, I just want to tell you one thing that I did not say perhaps because I don't have that much knowledge on the house. I didn't study, to be honest. I'm just doing uh, shortcut reviews. But I'm just, uh, before I tell you how I feel about feel about the fragrance, uh, this fragrance house, Bortnikov, you know, like he is basically, uh, I think from Russia, obviously, and he is the owner and perfumer for his house as well. And this guy distills his perfumes. I, I heard somewhere uh, like Russian Adam, uh, Russian Adam also, you know, like I heard these stories like from my friends who actually collect this kind of artisanal beauty and then, you know, like, oil or essential oils or perfumes like this so i heard like they like all in this big community you know like they do uh, very original very uh, rare oud distillation like by themselves this one has some oud and rose combo in this and these fragrances have this most natural oils okay or ingredients they use so that's why the fragrances uh, the fixative they use a very good natural and what you get from these fragrances are really beast mode performance that's one thing second thing you get the quality which is why you're paying so much and the ingredients are not very available to everyone because oud you know a special tree and uh, it's like not available like ambergris it's not available everywhere the expenses are very very high so these fragrances they, i think they uh, i haven't seen that much talk on boutiques but i think they have a website i can from bangladesh you can buy from fragrance bd they are authorized dealers of bortnikov as far as i know i could be wrong but uh, the dry down is here i sprayed it uh, here on the paper and it's here for about two hours so far it reached for dry down okay but on skin it will be different experience definitely paper and skin is different uh, so there will be maybe a little bit of difference if other people get some i may not get it so what i'm getting from it is that kind of like a spicy rose and a mild oud but more rose uh, more rosy dry down still rose petals than oud okay so let me respray this and remind myself of the opening this is very uh, potent juice uh, once again okay okay let's just go a little bit this one i sprayed just now this actually is plenty if you have that much on your skin it will actually work like seven eight hours on your skin okay so let's give it some time so when i smell it it's a very strong uh, combination of rose and some bergamot. There's some sort of citrusy, fresh rose opening, okay? And I think they use rose de mai, I think uh, maybe. And then there's definitely, you can smell the side by side, there's a beautiful oud. So they use Thailand oud. I, I forgot, I saw a while back, Fragrantica. They use a couple of different kind of oud in this, okay? But what I really like about this, it's not really oud dominant to my nose. Many people get the oud very prominent. To my nose i'm smelling more rose so it's a rose oud okay basically it's a rose oud and can i say it's a totally unique perfume i never smelled before no i can't say it i smelled this kind of dna in more harsh maybe synthetic way from montal and mansara paras but mansara also offers like black to black okay very beautiful fragrance very strong uh, cloves and all that with that rose uh, and that really that fragrance is so intense where is my uh, i have that somewhere <laughs> wait let me get it yeah this could be a reference point, but I'm not saying these are the same. Obviously, there are a lot of differences, but if you like fragrance in this style, check out my review on Black to Black. This is hands down of my favorite winter perfumes, beastly performance, okay? This one reminds me of that a little bit, okay? And the rose in this, it's kind of like a peppery, there's some sort of spiciness to the rose. Reminds me a little bit of Declaration Dune Soir Intense, that spicy rose, sandalwood, but this one perhaps doesn't have the sandalwood. I'm getting that uh, that fresh opening as well because he, he made this fragrance very nicely blended. So the fragrance doesn't have any sudden shock or anything like that. Very nice, very holy sort of a fresh clean rose. I'm really liking this rose note a lot. And the uh, spices in this, I don't know what spices quite he used, but I can tell you 
Uh, this fragrance will be actually very easy for people who use oud. They will find it kind of like relatively simpler. You know, it's not like very dark, agar oud, or very animalic, civet, those sort of base. I'm not getting any of that, okay? So it's sort of like a rose. At first opening is bergamot fresh, citrusy rose with that rose leaf. If you can imagine a little bit of greenness and that mix of uh, oud. So this kind of uh, like rose water we use during our, you know, let's say, uh, we have some sort of prayers for deceased, you know, so we use this kind of holy rose water uh, That one sometimes will smell like sandalwood on people, but it will, will Burn the incense stick like agarbattis. So that combined smell that I get it reminds me of something holy people are dressed up uh, Let's say hold on. <laughs> it's a bit too cold. My voice is getting a little bit down. Okay So basically you get that sort of a holy vibe from vibe from this, you know spraying on the eve day You know if you just go on a, a go to pray in the mosque this fragrance is very beautiful but uh, i'll tell you one thing this as i told you black to black i find it a little bit more darker a bit more spicier gutsy this perfume i find it very good quality but not to be totally unique this i smell before okay so this is a very common type of a uh, oud rose combo in middle east you find a lot of fragrances like it quality wise good quality longevity is fantastic but that uniqueness in this i smelled <laughs> this quality or this smell rather before so uniqueness is kind of like a six to seven out of ten where can you wear it you can wear it outside no problem but uh, if you are not a very big fan of rose this rose may get little big on you if you over spray on yourself it might get huge on you and then if you have a huge scent cloud around you and if it's really hot and humid you're sweating you'll feel very choked so avoid, avoid this area okay uh, put it maybe on your pulse point so it's away from your head and uh, maybe under your jubba or your shirt like what you're wearing your attire put it under the shirt so it will actually your heartbeat with the heartbeat to like uh, project so the quality is definitely there no compromise the quality like uh, blend wise the quality wise the uh, longevity wise it's sort of like a nine out of ten that sort of a way but Overall, this fragrance, yesterday I gave 7 out of 10 to one fragrance, I think it was Vesna Cologne. This fragrance, I'm going to give the same, 7 out of 10. That one I give 7.5, I think. This one I'm giving 7 out of 10 from the smell. Okay, it's all about, it all comes down to if I like it, don't like it. It's not, I feel indifferent about it. It's not, I don't mind it. But when you talk about paying so much uh, big bucks, uh, I, I would say you may like it a lot. You know, just give it a try, get a sample. Do not pass on this because i gave it a seven okay i'm giving it a seven because i smell this kind of dna before that's my only uh, criteria okay but uh, this is a good quality fragrance okay so overall bortnikov triad i'm giving it a seven out of ten but long giving projection is massive remember that this is a good unisex perfume in my humble opinion so time to move on to the uh, last video which is gonna be another fragrance from bortnikov which is called mysterious oud this one this is gonna be much darker than this one uh, thank you once again, Fragrance BD, and uh, I'm really enjoying uh, exploring this house. I'll see you soon. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.